Hey guys, so since I got a lot of positive feedback on the VAC Verify error video that I did, I figured I would do a follow up video and show you guys other ways that could possibly fix this problem for you. The first video I did helped a lot of people out, but even though I stated that it probably wouldn't fix everybody's issue, I still got a lot of negative comments, like this one. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Ryan. You probably could have spent that time like playing CSGO or something, right? Oh, wait a minute. Or this guy who actually narrowed down the amount of time he apparently wasted watching this. Uh, sorry again. And I also got called a leer. But whatever a leer is, but I, I got called one. And my all-time favorite comment just puts f fake. Just fake. Because that's what I do. I just make random fake videos because I can and I'll just get random people to watch it. Yeah, that seems like a lot of effort for nothing. Just to get called a, a leer or something, right? And then, of course, you get your regular tech support guys that say, it's just closing CSGO and restart Steam. But yeah, changing your name and go the online and offline every time, that works too. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure people already tried that and they couldn't get it to work. Like, Obviously, this guy's not sure. And one thing people keep asking is, if it works if you were actually VAC banned, well, obviously it does not. If you've been vac banned, you've been banned because you were caught cheating. So don't don't even bother playing this game anymore. All right, now that I wasted a couple minutes of your time there, just because I figured I needed to do that because of the comments in the last video, uh, let's get into this video. And uh, if you haven't seen the previous video, make sure you go watch that because that is probably the easiest method in order to fix this error. So go check that out first. All right, I'm going to show you how to verify the integrity of your game files here. First, you're going to right-click on CSGO in your game menu and click on Properties. At the top of that screen that comes up, you're going to click on the Local Files tab, and then you're going to scroll down to where it says Verify Integrity of Game Files and click on that. So what this is going to do is it's going to run through all your game files and make sure they're all good to go. Uh, I usually have one or two that are all messed up, and I have no idea why it's been like that ever since day one apparently this is the most common fix that everybody uses in this game it doesn't work for me it doesn't work for my friend but uh, it might work for you guys you never know so give it a try it just takes a little bit longer to run through all the files so I'm just gonna fast forward through this because it takes forever but at the end you'll notice that I have two files that need to be replaced because they're corrupt or whatever the reason is that could be your issue right there. So maybe you just need to run through your game files, clear them up, and then maybe your game will run fine for you. And this was also suggested. Run Steam as administrator. Now that's really easy to do. All you got to do is before you open Steam, right click on the icon and click run as administrator. And apparently this works for some people and I have no idea why it would. But okay, try that. I don't think it's going to work for you, but it might be an easy try. Alright, so if you've watched my previous video, and you've made it this far into this video, then probably nothing works for you at all. Uh, the only thing I could suggest at this point is uninstalling the game and reinstalling it, trying that, if it still doesn't work, try uninstalling and reinstalling Steam, and if those don't work, try logging in on a friend's computer on your account to see if it'll actually work, and then go back to your computer and try it again maybe one of those options will work for you. I hope at least one of these options works for you and you can actually get back into playing the game. And I hope to see you guys next time.